Hi Sagittarius, welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her Tarot. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to get to your reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all want to get a personal reading with me, all of my info is down below. Let's get into this. First and foremost, Sagittarius, I feel like some of you all may be a little irritated, disgusted, annoyed, want to um, get into a new environment, some energy like that. Because as soon as I get into your energy, that's how I kind of feel. So, um, at first, I thought it was something personal, distractions, all type of stuff. But I'm thinking it might just be your energy because I felt that way as soon as I got into your energy. I was just fine before that, right? So, um, you may have a lot of energies around you that's trying to throw you off. But I would say remain focused because maybe some things are turning around for you and you are just being tested, okay? Let's get into it. Most important messages for the sign of Sagittarius. We have the page of cups the nine of coins <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> wow I, I feel like a lot of people or some of you all may not have been speaking your truth and that's why you're feeling so uncomfortable all right you want something new and then we have the nine of coins it gives me this energy that you might you may just be uh newly single or something like that or something you worry about moving forward maybe doing something on your own being open to a new opportunity or opening to open to someone's apology or something like that. The Knight of Cups is coming out next to the Nine of Coins. The Ace of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. Something about you not seeing yourself, I feel. Yeah, not paying attention to your feelings, your emotions, how you truly feel about something, some someone. More messages. Um, I think. Something about Sagittarius being more concerned with themselves. I think that's important right now. We have the Lovers card. And then we have the Seven of Cups. There's some confusion going on. I feel like you want something and you can't... You want something and it's like... You can't truly have what you want at the moment or something. That's a part of you being irritated or something like that. What the heck? Confusion. The Page of Wands. The Nine of Cups. The Queen of Coins. It seemed like something you invested into that was a pause or you had to put a pause on this situation or something. Let's get more information. Let's get clear. What's the page of cups for Sag? You. It's you. You're afraid of opening up to something new. You're tired and exhausted. Uh, let me see. The high priestess. Following your intuition about opening up, having compassion towards yourself and another. It's you again with the Knight of Wands. There's an opportunity here. I feel like you're in your head about making this decision. What's the Nine of Coins? Clap for the Nine of Coins, please. And thank you for Sagittarius. The Knight of Swords in reverse. The Empress card in the upright at the bottom of the deck. And then we have the Five of Wands behind the Empress card. I feel like you feel like you've been... Someone's been fighting against you. Or... Someone has been having a, a tug of war issue with the with the mother of their child or something like that. Or like you're the mother of someone's child and you having, um, it's hard to communicate. It's the seven of wands here with the five of wands. You feel like someone feels like they have to defend themselves or it's hard to defend themselves or you feel like there's a lack of understanding. You can't get through to this person or this person can't get through to you or something like that. That night of swords energy is, um... I feel like someone's jumping to conclusions. Also, there's a lack of communication. I said that already, didn't I? Someone's not being truthful and expressing themselves. I said that already as well. What's the Knight of Cups? What's the Knight of Cups? The Seven of Coins. It's time to make some type of decision. The Coin of Swords. I feel like it's been challenging to you to make a decision. To make this decision. You've been waiting on something or someone or to make a move or something like that. Waiting. I'm hearing something about extending your love or someone wants to extend their love to you. The love is hard. What's the love is hard? Gemini energy. Yeah. Yes, it's the Ten of Cups. Someone wants love or a relationship at this moment. Oh, no, not really. It's not really that. It's not really that. It's like you try to avoid that type of energy I'm getting inside this area. When it comes to meeting new people and you truly like them, it's like you try to make up excuses as to what's wrong. 
that's what I'm getting here. Even though you might have a solid connection. That's worth holding on to. Um, yeah. But it looks like you look for something to be wrong with a person you might walk away. Let me see. What's the Knight of Swords? I'm feeling the energy for a reason, right? Clap out the Knight of Swords in reverse. The King of Coins. Is this the person that's miscommunicating? The King of Coins? The masculine energy? The Queen of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person knows that they love. You love this person. This person loves you. There's love here. Unconditional love. Six of Coins and a World card. Um, Five of Swords. Temperance card. There you are. Why do I feel like someone fought against the love that you was given to them or vice versa, however it was? I'm feeling like... Okay. Someone closed the door on... Someone closed the door on love that was undeniable. Chills. Why am I getting that? Six of coins. Making things balanced. I feel like that unconditional love because the unconditional love with the queen of cups energy. But it could be a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. But I feel like someone's just miscommunicating as to uh, what they truly want. So it's like a person neglecting how they truly feel and what they really want in life. And just avoid that type of en energy or conversation, right? <sighs> but this person knows what they want. Why the seven of coins? Why is the seven of coins here, please? And thank you. We have the king of cups. I'm not just saying the queen of cups, right? It's the masculine energy here that that would keep this relationship stalled or stagnant. If that's what's going on, we have the eight of wands. You at the bottom of the deck, communication and the ace of swords. I feel like um it could be either you or someone else trying to communicate, trying to reach out. Um, also again, that someone understands that you're moving on. I feel like, yeah, you decided, you or someone decided to move on because your value wasn't being seen or, oh my goodness, why I feel betrayal involved in this? It's the sun card, the devil card, some type of unhealthy attachment. It could have been a third party here with the strength, the, the three three of cups, the strength card. Someone messed up. I see an energy of a person walking away as well. Let me see this again. I feel like someone's ready to communicate their truth. Maybe that's why I don't really understand what the heck is going on. Everyone's truth is different, right? So someone may be trying to communicate some type of truth to you as to why maybe they moved on. Like someone couldn't get enough of you. You see that they couldn't get enough of you. You couldn't get enough of them. Something happened here where maybe there was someone else in the picture, and the person felt like there was an unhealthy attachment towards you, or they couldn't have this feeling towards you because they had something else going on. Yeah, the distractions outside is going on, and that's actually irritating the heck out of me. And it could have threw me off to not say what I had to say, but I think that's the message for you all, Sage. So pay attention and stay clear and stay up and avoid the distractions and people trying to throw you off of your game and, and you feeling how you feel. Um, let me say this, um, Sag. I don't know why I feel like I need to say this to you. When, when you listening or feel like you always need to do, 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 be busy, 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 listening to super loud music, seems like someone is trying to distract themselves. Bam. Got it. Caught it, caught it, caught it, caught it. Just like that energy outside is trying to distract themselves from the little negativity and the BS stuff that they've been doing in life. Instead of moving forward, they just will distract themselves with all that chaos and confusion and clubbing type of music. That's what I feel like you're doing. You're trying to distract yourself from certain from this energy that you truly want in your life. You or someone else. Can I get some advice here? It's time for someone to communicate their truth. The card. Ten of Swords, baby. Ten of Swords. It's time to release yourself. It's time to release yourself. Ten of Swords, you feel like your hands is tied. You feel like you can't do anything about the situation you're in right now. And it's time to manifest, baby. It's time to get your, clear your head from all of those distractions. Because those swords are not touching you. You are not dead. 
you can manifest yourself out of this situation where you've been hurt heartbroken trying to avoid this energy that you've been in not wanting to see any other possibilities because of maybe the things that you've been through uh-huh hoping and pleading for it to make it think make those things right but maybe maybe it's not meant to make it right maybe it happened the way it was supposed to happen okay Sag? let me get some more what you can't distract me we ain't going for that we have the eight of wands you you were you are tied up I don't know why you so tied up when it's time to move forward. Release yourself, Sag. Release yourself. Move forward. Heal. See yourself for who you truly are. The devil card. I don't know what this low, low vibration, vibrational energy that's trying to keep you back. And I feel like it may be people that you are involved with, that you're surrounded by. However it is with that three of cups. It's time to have the strength to pull yourself back from these people that's making you feel, I say, insane, crazy, or making you feel like you shouldn't have what it is that you truly want in life. It's like you can't even discuss what it is that you truly want with these people because they don't get it. They don't get it. The connection is false with those individuals. Because even if they don't agree, you should be able to agree to disagree with people that you truly care about, right? Or just for them to try to, try to even understand what it is that you value. Moving on. You can't stop me. So, um, let's get a message from the Goddess Power card. It's weird. Earlier, I wasn't working. No distractions now said. No loud music. No irritation. Nothing like that. All of a sudden, I started to work. And it started. I'm not letting that stop me, though, you all. I'm glad I got the message out. I hope you all, uh, I hope it resonated. And I hope it helped. But let's get an oracle we're gonna move on after this most for the message for the time of Sagittarius please and thank you most important messages for the sign of Sagittarius And I think he does it on purpose because I remember one time, like, last time I asked him, can you, know, like, turn the music down and I, I work from home? Of course he turned it back on, but whatever. Maybe turn it up louder or make sure they come that he came the next day to keep it up loud. But whatever, it is what it is. I asked nicely, though. <laughs> so we have Freya, radical acceptance. It is what it is, right? And we have patterns. Some people just going to do the same ish, but anyways uh sometimes it leads you into the right path correct devotion underneath there let's read this freya i'm just passing it oh my goodness all right here we go when you see life as a battleground, you lose sight of a more easeful way to be in the world. Can you be in the middle of the chaos and allow yourself to center in a quiet hum in the eye of the storm? Let the peace of Freya, the Norse goddess of war, enter your mind. Amid the flurry of battle, she came to collect the fallen and bring them to a place of rest and recuperation. Freya is here to remind you that the acceptance of defeat is not the end. She offers the gift of acceptance, the knowing that there is nothing to resist now. See your world at face value and look into it with discernment. When you see, your, your, when you see with greater clarity, not taking this world personally, you will not have to fight at all. If you take full stock of your conditions, surround surrendering to what is you can move to higher ground begin again or what or wait until the drama dies down on its own excuse me sage my bad you are the strongest most grounded and most powerful when you remember this is the strategy the goddess freya offers in your support so let's read number 12 and i am finished kind of tried to throw me off that distraction but i think they just stopped yep because I continue to move forward. Okay, here we go. Have you noticed patterns in your life that lead to positive experiences, developing positive habits? Introduce new patterns into the fabric of reality and will support your dreams as they take 
form in the material world. It takes awareness and discipline to make this happen, but you can do it. It's time to allow the experience of a new happiness. If you do, Ellen of the Ways, the God, the Celtic goddess of paths and patterns, will show you a new way to your dreams. All manner of miracles are possible. Now is also the time to build bridges across any divides with others that have temporarily separated you. Your path is clear. The way will be shown as you make new choices for your life with the goddess known as the Ellen of the Ways as your happy guide. All right? So, Sagittarius, I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave your like, shares, all of that good stuff. I love you all that love me, and I'll see you all next time.